Okay, um, welcome back. We're going to this time take care of the dog collar. I would have liked to have finished that last episode, but things didn't go as planned. That's okay. Uh, well, we burned this guy, burned the guy over there. So, let's go get that dog collar. The zombie has very blurry vision. Which I guess is fine for a zombie. I wouldn't expect a zombie to have perfect eyesight, but... Get a nice look at that coat. Yeah, whatever. You can wander around down there. I wonder if you would eat any of that rotten meat that's down there. I mean, does it specifically have to be humans that uh, T-virus zombies go after? Okay, we're heading on outside. The thing with these dogs in this game is you can shoot them, but I mean... They are really resilient. <laughs> Not like the other dogs in the other games. Come on. Come on, man, get off. Man, you took a good bite out of me. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, we're really not feeling very good. Come on, get those herbs. There are green herbs growing here. They also stop time, which is very nice. There's only enough for a few uses. Use them? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we're real bad. Oh, come on. Ah, stupid dog. made me work for that that could have been better ah <sighs> well I'm sitting up straight now that's for sure <laughs> examine collar there's a switch will you press it I know I could use a shotgun and made that a lot easier but I'm pretty sure we have a crimson head to deal with a coin was hidden inside the collar It changed into the shape of a key. <sighs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure we got a crimson head to deal with, so I want to say the shotgun rounds for that. Let's just go unlock this door. I'll we'll probably not use it. You unlocked it. You probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Discard it. Yes. All right, let me just run all the way around. Ah. You know, something that I've noticed um, while recording, oh, I guess I could go this way. Yeah, let's do that. Something I noticed while recording is that I'm just using the microphone on the headset and it works okay. Let's just use just use one. Ah I didn't like that. I'm just using the, the microphone on the on the headset. Are you dead, pal? Can't tell. And it works okay, but I have to speak really loudly. And usually I talk really low. 
Come on. Oh! Yes! That sort of makes up for that shotgun thing around. Man, I'm getting a lot more headshots than I, uh... Than I thought I was going to. Anyway, so I have to talk loudly, which is just not... I'm not that chipper of a person, I guess. So I find it to be kind of stamina draining to make sure that I'm speaking loud and clear. So sometimes I sound weird, it's because I kind of forget. Alright, now we're going to want to equip this. And I know they're not going to let me burn them. There's no getting around this one. Just go ahead and use that. Yeah. Oh wow, you get a trophy for for that. That's nice. I don't think you can I don't think you guys can see when I get trophies, but you get one for that. All right, we took care of that. That hallway is safe, I guess. Not that I care. <sighs> There's an inscription on the shield. Death is only the beginning. There's an inscription on the shield. Death is the true essence of bliss. May whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. Man, that could be a little nerve-wracking. Oh, no, here we go. There's an engraving of armor. Alright, we got our armor key. We can really start moving through this mansion now. Death is everything. I think this is locked. This isn't an armor. Yeah. That's a helmet key. Okay, good. Now I just want to go around. Start unlocking doors. I think we're good. There's those stupid dogs in this stupid dog hallway that need to be dealt with. And uh, there's the graveyard situation, which I'm letting get worse and worse and, and worse. But, um... Other than that, I feel... I feel pretty good. I feel like the mansion is safe now. We can just wander around. Well, it was safe. Spoke too soon. Oh, you didn't you have a pretty weak constitution there zombie you went down way fast yeah well whatever we'll just burn him it fills the canteen in that room downstairs and that canteen is empty now Oh, no big deal. You use the armor key. All right, let's go take care of that plant. Well, let's, you know, take care of those erotic tentacles. Will you take the flash grenade? Yes. Candlestick shines coldly in the moonlight. No, oh, my cat won't shut up. Yeah, these guys want to come in. Mm, 
Well, on the plus side, we can get some shotgun shells from there now, which I will need in order to fight Forest. All right, well, we'll do that. I can't remember how you say tentacles in Japanese. I know it starts with the letter S. Sexy. Ooh. So the way that you figure out this puzzle is that you look at these pipes, but uh, I never knew that before. Like I just didn't think about it. Like looking down, you can see red pipes go over there, green pipes go over here. So I would always just guess. Pump the water. A chemical to use on plants, a chemical agent to destroy plant growth. I thought it just called Earth Basher. Bash that Earth. Alright, there we go. Which way? Red. Oh, and then they get all excited. Now we can pick up another death mask. Death? I said that right, right? Death mask? I can't talk. Will you take the death mask? Yeah. Let's pick up some herbs. Hmm. I generally don't like to mix green herbs together but I feel like we would yeah no oh yeah I'm just <sighs> hmm whatever okay well, we don't have anything to burn these guys with. So part of me wants to leave them alone, but I gotta come back in here. Equip. Maybe we could just have like defensive use or tactical use of our defensive items. Yeah, that's right. Come on in. wander around for a while. Oh! Well, we're out of those now. But uh, at least we don't gotta worry about burning these guys.